Hi guys, I'm Adam Wilborn from What Culture, joined by Phil Chambers from What Culture with some major breaking news surrounding WWE and the Vince McMahon allegations. Vince McMahon has stepped down as chairman and CEO of WWE to be replaced in the interim by Stephanie McMahon, who is now the interim CEO and chairwoman. Um, this all, as I said, centers around the allegations that you've heard about over the last few days surrounding Vince McMahon, uh, an alleged hush money payments, $3 million been chucked around, and misappropriation of company funds. I'm just going to read you the statement that WWE Corporate has released in, well, the last few minutes. Um, WWE and the board of directors today announced that a special committee of the board is conducting an investigation into alleged misconduct by its chairman and CEO, Vincent McMahon, and John Laurinaitis, head of talent relations. And that, effective immediately, McMahon has voluntarily stepped back from his responsibilities as CEO and chairman of the board until the conclusion of the investigation. McMahon will retain his role and responsibilities related to WWE's creative content during this period and remains committed to cooperating with the review view underway. So if anyone was worried about Vince not being involved in WWE Creative, that's a way off your mind. Um, <laughs> Mr. McMahon released this statement around it. I have pledged my complete cooperation to the investigation by the special committee and I will do everything possible to support it. Uh, I have also pledged to accept the findings and outcome of the investigation, whatever they are. There was also a statement released by Stephanie McMahon, who, as I mentioned, is now the interim CEO and chairwoman of WWE, despite the fact that just a few weeks back she said, She's going to be taking some time away to spend some time with her family. She says, I love this company and I'm committed to working with the independent directors to strengthen our culture and our company. It is extremely important to me that we have a safe and collaborative workplace. I have committed to doing everything in my power to help the special committee complete its work, including marshalling the cooperation of the entire company to assist in the completion of the investigation and to implement its findings. Uh, groundbreaking stuff, this film. Yeah, this is uh, huge news on the back of what happened yesterday, which was also pretty huge news. Yeah. Now, um, Vince McMahon stepping down isn't without precedent. This has happened before, back in the 90s with the steroid trial, when that was going on. Um, he stepped down as president and CEO back in 1993, and Linda McMahon mm -hmm. took, her, uh, took position there, and then she didn't step down until 2009, when she was going to run for Senate. Of course. And then Vince McMahon became the CEO, CEO once again after that and has been CEO ever since up until now obviously um, so this is very much a corporate move to protect the company mm -hmm. um, sort of because it's obviously a publicly traded company it's much wider than just one person now um, so a very corporate move to sort of move him off show that they're outwardly investigating this mm -hmm. properly uh, and move on with a, a power structure in place that the stockholders might Deem yeah. as a good move. Well, it's all, it's that all stuff about with, protecting the shareholders at this yeah, point. Yeah, there was all that stuff with insider trading that I'm not going to comment on because I have no idea legally where yeah, we stand with all that. a lot of wild speculation about More allegations, allegedly, lot, allegedly, allegedly. A lot of WWE stock that has been sold over the last month. Um, but yeah, this is all obviously coming off the back of the thing yesterday that broke, uh, which was this thing by the Wall Street Journal saying that there is a WWE board is obviously investigating the three million dollars in hush money that Vince McMahon has paid to a former employee who was a paralegal. Mm -hmm. uh, that was of his own money apparently, but the misappropriation of funds comes in when he paid her a hundred thousand, and then when they entered into a sexual relationship. He paid her two hundred thousand dollars a year mm -hmm. uh, and doubling the money and the allegations of her being passed around like a toy to John Laurinaitis, which is also hideous. Yeah, exactly. It's it's one of those things where he, Laurinaitis is mentioned here. No word on, on what the future holds for him, but one would assume probably not good. The investigation obviously is referenced in him. Uh, it's going to take a look into to everything. It is it's going to be one of those things where I think it's one of those things when. We heard the news, and it's obviously, you know, uh, shocking everything that's come out. Yeah. I mean, not that shocking if you know the history yeah. of Vince McMahon. If you know the rumours around the allegations that have been there. going a long time and the old allegations, it's one of those things where it's like you almost expect something like this to yes. come out at some point. Um, it doesn't obviously make it any better when it does come out. Uh, it's still all pretty bad. Yeah, so it's, it's one of those things where... Allegedly, 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 there allegedly, we go. allegedly. Uh, that I, I, I heard this all this story come out over the last 48 hours, and I, you know, I can't really speculate on it too much. But it was one of those things where you thought, now is this going to be one of those 
this is scandalous. This is uh, outrageous. This is the end of, of Vince McMahon running WWE. Yeah. And don't forget, he's only stepped down whilst this investigation is taking place. Hence yeah. the word interim being put in front of everything that Stephanie McMahon does now. But I think a lot of uh, wrestling fans with, with experience of, like you say, the stuff that's gone before, thought potentially this could be just a... Oh, amazing, huge scandal that actually nothing happens with. Yeah. But, I mean, you pointed out yourself in the office yesterday, the difference with WWE now being a publicly traded company. This isn't just, like you say, the the the, the allegations of hush money. It's misappropriating company funds, which will matter to the board of directors, to the higher-ups within WWE. Yeah, like we say, the most important thing within that corporate structure now is the shareholders. Like, mm -hmm. the company isn't even technically there for itself, it's there for everyone who owns a piece of it, which is all the shareholders and things. And as much of the company as the McMahons do own collectively, there's much more out there that they need to protect. Yes. Uh, uh, no, the, the, there was an interesting bit at the end of the statement as well that said um, WWE will make no further statements on this until the, um, the investigation has mm -hmm. uh, come to a close. So this could go a little bit quiet on WWE's front, and this might be the one and done uh, statement on it, and we won't hear anything else unless anything comes out from either the dirt sheets or if the Wall Street Journal has mm -hmm. anything else. Um, you yeah, let's not forget the actual like big tier journalism will actually come out. Of yeah, the, let's not forget the initial story was a an email from a friend of the paralegal. Yeah, is that right? And the initial story also referenced multiple old uh, NDAs that have yes. been put in place with other people for other agreements. No idea on what those exactly are. So there's a lot that could come out of this, whether it all gets leaked or whether it goes very tight-lipped. We're mm -hmm. just going to have to wait and see. But again, we will keep you in. Uh, we will yeah, keep you up to date on everything that we find out. Yes, I sense the Wrestling Observer newsletter has probably been slightly delayed by this yes, development. I imagine so. Uh, independent directors continue review of alleged Executive misconduct is another one of the big, you know, uh, headline things from this uh, statement from WWE and its board of directors. Uh, so just to recap, yeah, Stephanie McMahon named interim CEO and interim chairwoman. Vince McMahon stepping down as CEO and chairman whilst this investigation goes on. Um, not really a lot else we can say. All we can do is kind of present you with the facts. Yeah. And legally, I certainly think we shouldn't be speculating <laughs> anymore about this. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. That should allegedly, just, allegedly, just, just allegedly. wrap a nice bow around it. Well, the investigation is definitely not alleged. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, we will bring you any developments as and when we get them. As Phil mentioned, it may go a little bit quiet now. Yeah. Um, but let us know your thoughts, uh, maybe not necessarily on the case, but what happens to WWE going forward, where they go from here, uh, and your relief that Vince McMahon will retain his role and responsibilities related <laughs> to WWE's creative content during this period. Yay. Phew. Um, do without that. Yes, this is going to be fascinating stuff, and this is a story that is going to run and run. Uh, let us know your thoughts, as I said, in the comments and on Twitter at WhatCultureWWE, where you can find both of us. You can follow Phil Chambers on Twitter at... Phil My Chambers, and you can find Adam at... Adam Wilborn. Follow us all at WhatCultureWWE, as I said. Make sure you subscribe to WhatCulture Wrestling, wherever you get your podcasts from, for daily wrestling podcasts. And, yeah, hopefully more regular updates on this story as and when we get it. But for now... This has been the news. Vince McMahon has stepped down as CEO and chairman of WWE for the interim to be replaced by Stephanie McMahon. Let us know your thoughts. Thanks to Phil. Thank you for joining us. And we will see you soon.